Okay. Do you know what uh, today's date is? I don't. I think it's May 28th. Yes, it is the 28th. 28th, 2020. We are, uh, I'm with Jason Fury Flores, and we are at Burlington uh, at the Green Lady Cemetery. And she usually names Elizabeth. And the, the legend for people that are watching this that don't know is there's a woman that appears to be in green that hangs out around this tree. Now, um, I've been here maybe about a year and a half ago, and we saw a girl kind of in gray that appeared near the street light that kind of like bottle rocketed up. That's the only way I could really explain it, like a firecracker and then kind of like disperse. But uh, it wasn't like what I thought it was gonna be. And I've in the 16 years I've been a paranormal investigator, I've come to find that a lot. Like that happened at, at the World One Hill Road in Wallingford that we finally saw her, but it was different than I imagined. It wasn't in the spot where like the quarry where I thought I would see her. What, that when I actually have experiences, they don't play out as I thought they would in my head over and over and over again. And I come by here all the time when I'm in this area. I've been here a lot. This is chapter six in my book. And I'm expecting to see a green mist over near the side of the thing. Like I said, I was very grateful and happy that I had some experience here at all. We have heard noises here in the past and had some kind of things happen, but um, it's never what I expect or what I think is gonna happen. And um, you know, we'll see what happens. So this is supposed to be where she she hangs out. And her name's Elizabeth. Um, there's not much known about the legend, the cemetery itself. You can't really see, but it's, it's very barren. It's very dark. It's on a really desolate road that is unpaved and is not really in the greatest amount of like great shape. There's only a couple handful of stones left in this cemetery. It's not a it's not a big cemetery. Maybe like an acre or two. Maybe a little bit bigger than that. I don't really good with measurements off offhand, but it's tiny. You can see the whole thing. A couple stones still standing. Um, there is a road right up down the, there with, with some street lights. So it gives you a little security. But I mean, if we shut the light off right now, and we're standing here, it's pitch black. It's it's pretty freaky. And um, I'm gonna find my shoe. So yeah, I, I, uh, I counted in my ghost journals how many times I've been here after, after the book. In the book, I think there was six visits. The Burlington Trio consists of this Tory prison, which we just got back from, and then there's Lampson Corner, which I go to the least because it is the hardest to get into. Um, I'm going to take Jason there eventually. It's kind of not a nice night out. It's kind of wet out. It's not the kind of night I want to go, but we're going to go there. And then I recently, within the last couple of years, found out about Milford Street Cemetery that's on Route 69, right near Cumberland Farms, that's in the back, kind of tucked away. And it's a small little older cemetery with a lot of red sandstone graves. And we just went there. So this is our third spot of the night. And we're gonna probably call it quits after that. But um, this is pretty cool. Like I said, I I've had that one, I heard noise one time, we heard laughter one time. Um, I've been here, I don't know how many times in the last 10 years, I, I made a tally mark every time, maybe like 10. Um, I, I have been coming here a lot more often. I usually find myself here like, I don't know, at least one or two times a year, but this is my second time going here within a week. So now that I have a vehicle and I'm able to drive, and I have a friend that lives in this area, I feel like I'm gonna be doing a lot more investigating here, which is cool because this is a really good spot. And like I said, there's four spots, literally in a two mile radius, and you could just hit them all. It's, well, Lamson Quarter, you have to kind of put a little effort into it to plan a little bit. But you, even if we just hit the three, it's, it's still a good night. But, uh, yeah, as you see, could you, could you see the call, like the, the stones and stuff? Yeah, like you can see them. They're barely popping up on here, but yeah, now they are. There's actually a car right there. I don't know if some dude's trying to bang his chick or they're smoking a blunt or 
what's going on. It's but, romantic. Yeah, that's fine. They're definitely watching us, but we don't really give a fuck about what they're doing. Not much else than just trying to show. Oh, we, oh uh, we, uh, we were just at Milford Street Cemetery. Uh, we were just at Milford Street Cemetery, and Jason took a photo of me with his camera, and it looks to be a cosmic photo. I have to really go home and look at it and put it online. But it looked at there was a partial mist that was right near when he took the photo. It looked kind of cool. I mean, I'm intrigued by it, and that doesn't happen very often. Normally, I debunk it right away, and I'm like, oh, it's this. It's a lens flare. It's this. It's that. But this looks kind of cool. So that was, that was exciting. That was the coolest part of the night. But I'm trying to get some more photos, uh, more photos, and more more videos for people that watch my channel. So uh, there'll, there'll be more stuff now that I, like I said, I'm mobile and now that coronavirus is over and done with. So just keep keep checking and I should post something every so often. And um, depending where I'm at and what I'm doing. But uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay. Cool. Get, a, get the... All right, peace out.